Okay, uh, will, will noon work? Okay, sounds good. I'll plan on seeing you then. Alright, bye. I'm just aiming it into the city here. There's the Marriott Hotel oh. sign. It's just straight. That's cool. Yeah, but if this is not at high magnification. This is just the scope being used like a telephoto lens. Uh, so what you're seeing is about a, it's a 1,250 millimeter focal length. Huh. And most average cameras are like 35 millimeter focal yeah. length. Yeah. Or a 55. Does, or an, does it old, zoom in more? It, well, it will if I put an eyepiece that we view oh, through the eyepiece okay. holder into the telescope oh, and put the, put the camera over that. But to, what I usually do here is... Um, is I let people look through the scope with, um, we're picking up some reflections here, I don't know why. Huh. There's some pretty blue lights, I don't even know what we're looking at there. I should know what it is. It's the top of a famous building downtown. Oh, I think it's Moda? Oh, Moda's Moda? way over here. Yeah, it's way well, over here. Well, there's Moda Center, but I know there's yeah. one building that says Moda on it. Oh, that's right, you're downtown. right. I yeah. Blue on it. I'm looking at that right now, I can't see what I'm looking at. It's right. I'm trying to find huh. the... I'm trying to find the top of the KGO, not KGO, I'm sorry, coin towers, and I'm actually aiming at there, but, huh. um, the slewing on this is very slow. I, they had me go up on the eclipse days, the total eclipse of the sun, yeah. in August, and give lectures about the photography I did of the eclipse 38 years ago, and then wow. to give people advice on, uh, um, did, did you, you the, oh yeah, I photographed it through the scope, so I'll show you that here in a minute. The latest one? Yeah, I photographed a lot of it. I took I took several hundred photographs in two minutes. With two, my hand on two remotes and another camera on top of the scope, piggybacked. The camera through the scope just like this. Another camera doing film work. All three cameras all going at once. Wow. And it was almost it was too much. And and people were trying to ask me questions and, and what to do. And you know, I was trying to run my scopes. And yeah. Where did you watch it from? The Painted Hills Desert. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is what it looked like up there. There's a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of a lot of images. This is a kind of a composite stacked up of many of them here just to give people kind of a Whoa. over the period of time they're going through all the phases but that's one of the coolest photos i've yeah, ever seen but, but people didn't get into the shadow path and they thought they saw it and they they thought that they heard that in portland it's going to be 99.7 yeah. percent and they I said well that's good enough isn't it i said no it's not anything it's, yeah. you didn't see a total eclipse you saw a partial line through glasses yeah and they said but it was cool i said well, yeah but you didn't see the solar yeah. eclipse I last you minute. You didn't see the totality. I wasn't going to do it because I heard about the traffic. The last oh, minute. you hear that? Oh, huh? just, shouldn't worry about that. I ask people, don't you drive in traffic every day to go to work? It was not I even that bad. Sounded, I it know, was sounded not even as... Like, stay inside and buy food and oh, drive. No. But that's what you saw for two minutes up in the sky. Yeah, so I went and saw it, yeah, down by the coast. Oh, you did? You, by, like, toward Lincoln City? Uh, yeah, you did see it. I'm glad you yeah. did. Oh, and it was, yeah, just like you're saying, it was way more than I thought it was going to be. Because I was thinking, ah, oh, Portland's so close. Oh, I should be watching the enough. sky. Yeah, I, I think Venus is in there now in the clouds coming through, but I don't. Can I see your binoculars? I will, yeah, I'm just going to take a quick look real quick, just to check it here. I shouldn't be doing this. I should be letting you see this. Uh, I'm taking a movie, actually, and just playing around with the scope. Um, I will, uh, I think it's set. Uh, it's a quarter till, and it's right above the horizon if it's out there. few too many clouds. It could be right between those clear spots though. It's hard to say. So that's in 15 minutes, which is uh, a degree every four minutes, so about three degrees above the horizon. So it could be right in those clear breaks, right there above the hills. I just don't see it. I see more planes flying though. Yeah. And then Mercury would be right next to it. But I just... Gosh, it's too bad. Here, you can go ahead and look at them if you want. Um, I'm well, just, these are cool enough. <laughs> yeah, that's a good start. And you know, we recommend for the public that ask if they can buy a telescope or what they should buy. And we'd recommend they don't buy telescopes at first because they won't know how to use them. They won't know where to point them or how to set them up. They'll become frustrated and they won't see much. So, as an astronomy teacher for a while and uh, lecturer, I Astronomy teachers always tell the public the first thing you should buy is a good star chart and get a pair of binoculars and start learning your way around the sky. Oh, okay. And then later... What power do you want for the binoculars? Well, that's a 10 power one you're looking through there. A friend just gave me those. He couldn't use them. He didn't have any use for them. So, but the standard binoculars that most people use in are 7 power with 50 millimeter objectives on the front. That is 60 millimeter objectives and 10 power, so it's almost like a small telescope in, oh. in a pair. You could just barely make out Saturn's rings with those at 10 power. Okay. They're very tiny, but um, 
was going to show what they look like through the scope here, but I'm just trying to uh, trying to see if I could point the scope at. Yeah, this is really cool. <laughs> just looking at the downtown. Oh yeah, it's. People are amazed the first time they see something magnified in the distance, and um, there's a lot to see. But you're just seeing the city. It's yeah. to see the night sky and away from the city lights like this, where you can see much more, yeah. is impressive. No, we should probably look to see if Venus is there again. I think it could be there. May even be well, I gotta head out. Yeah, I should let you go. But I was gonna say, this is what it looks like when I'm up here on other nights. Um, so I have. Do you use Facebook? Yeah. You can watch it, and I may announce the night I next come up here. Yeah. That'd it's be Mark cool. Mark Seibold, S E I B O L D. Okay. But I have an I have several hundred albums up. Yeah. And the one I have for Mount Tabor here for the star parties I do for the public is. Uh, I have so many of those behind updating things oh, in front of So it looks like this. It introduces with a big photo at the top. And I take pictures of the scope, you know, the moon's craters up close like this. And, oh. and there's Jupiter next to it. This wasn't, Jupiter was not next to the moon like that that night. It was just, oh, I composited okay. this. But these people were actually standing here like this. And I, there's the larger scope I set on the ground, the big red. Oh, okay. It's a 10 inch reflector with a 10 inch mirror in it. Yeah. It's about four feet long. And yeah, that's cool. And can then I just add myself on your Facebook? Yeah, page? go ahead. You can send me a request. Uh, oh. May I just, yeah, type like my uh, name in? Okay, I'll just, I'll get to where that's at. This isn't quite an iPhone, it's a Microsoft Windows phone. Oh, okay. So I've got to back out here toward uh, the friends list. I think uh, if I just type it in the, the search. Yeah, search, yeah, right there. Yeah. I can do it for you if you like. I can just do it right uh, here. Oh, it's Daniel. Okay, second. D A N I E L. Roglowski, R U G. Um, R U G. L O S. L O S. K I. K I. I think you're searching in your current friends, though. Uh, like, I think it might do sorry, a I'll, I think I, I'll be able to find it online, too. I should be able to. I think it's doing a mass search. Um, yeah, you might be right. It might be in my friends. So I might have to. Uh, Take a more look here, see if we can see views. It's not seven yet, it's ten minutes. It was probably right above the horizon on the, the hilltop there, but I'm just not. I'm not seeing. Uh, S I E? S E I B O L D. And it comes up with a shot of me. Um, it looks like this, I'll show you. This, okay. This picture of the moon behind the telecom crossing. Yeah, you found it. Got it. You can send it to me and I'll see it come in here. I'll just I'll accept it right now. You have, a, you have an Android, you have an iPhone, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I just recognize it. I can just tell. That's it. All right. That's me. All right. Okay, Daniel. Cool. So you've cool. lived in Portland how long? Uh, like almost three years. Three years. Wow, you're just as good as a Portland resident now. Yeah, I've lived like eight places. 